Hello, my name is Dr. Patrick Parks and I serve as the medical director for the Skin and Wound Care Division. In 2011, we have seen the release of documents related to the reduction in central line associated bloodstream infections. Earlier this year, the Infusion Nurse Society released their standards for care that included a statement supporting the use of chlorhexidine containing intravenous site dressings. On April 1st, the Centers for Disease Control released their revision of the 2002 guidelines. These guidelines represent the work of a select committee that reviewed existing clinical literature on the prevention of central line associated bloodstream infections. These guidelines involve expert review of the literature and the recommendations are the culmination of the committee's assessment of expert opinion, medical literature prior to 2009, and feedback from a large number of interested parties. While their guidelines resulted in a document that is 83 pages in length, it is their comments on chlorhexidine that are the focus of our interest. Tegaderm brand dressings have carried a 1A recommendation from the Centers for Disease Control for an extended time. Additionally, the Centers for Disease Control also cite the significance of visualization of the catheter entry site. Another property of all Tegaderm brand dressings including our most recent offering, Tegaderm CHG Dressing. The Centers for Disease Control document recognizes the utility of chlorhexidine and makes clear that there is room for innovative technologies that may be under development, carrying the listing of an unresolved issue. We have a long history of innovative technology development at 3M, and Tegaderm CHG Dressings represent one example. We are proud to offer this technology, and as our understanding of its clinical value continues to grow, we look forward to providing more information on patient outcomes that will further your clinical practice. Thank you.